Hey everyone, how's it going? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Now my mate Lewis has told me about some pretty brutal climbs that aren't far away from where I live. Whilst I don't love big climbs, I do like a big descent. So I'm going to go and see what they're like. Apparently it's properly first gear in the saddle, keep the front wheel down kind of stuff. So if you're into that, I'll watch these next clips. This is kind of like a vlog style video. And after that ride, I'm going to tell you what my plans are for the channel, why I'm using it, why I've started uploading videos, things like that. Maybe question wanting to return to racing. So just quickly, before I tell you about what exactly I'm doing with the YouTube channel, that climb was particularly disgusting. It's called Bushcombe Lane, and it's just outside of Cheltenham. And according to the stats on my training peaks, it was five minutes of 16.7% gradient with an average cadence of 51. I got 39.28 on my bike. So that gives you an idea of how slowly I was getting, eight kilometers an hour. And the peak two minutes was at 21%. The power is mega low, but that's mainly because there's not a lot of cadence going on there. The peak two minute power, 46 average cadence with the lowest of just 42, which is absolutely brutal. So that's Bushcombe Lane, just outside of Cheltenham, if you ever want to check it out. So why have I started uploading videos to YouTube? Well, one of the reasons is simply I've got a lot more time than I was expecting to have available right now. Sorry about that. I'm not traveling to races like I was expecting to be every single weekend because of coronavirus, there is no racing at the moment, which also means I'm not training as hard as I was expecting to be training. So I've got a lot more energy left over and I've also got quite a lot more time available than I was expecting to have right now, which means it's quite a good opportunity for me to learn a new skill. Why not learn making a few videos? Obviously I've seen how it's done firsthand and learned a little bit along the way. And I figured if people are interested, I could probably put in the time and effort to upload a few videos every now and again. So that's one reason. The next reason is, without the steady stream of media that's coming from racing, like I alluded to in the other video the other day, it means that it's really hard for a cycling team to get enough coverage. All the products, all the sponsors, all the partners that support us throughout the season. So one of the reasons that I wanted to make some videos was to partly air a little bit of time their way which means that I'm going to be making a distinct St. Piran playlist. So I'll put all of the videos that are clearly team related into a St. Piran playlist, which will have all of the team info. So that will be coverage of the bikes, the equipment we use, any promotions that the team's got going on. So that will kind of direct people towards the team shop, any competitions that we might be running, just basically anything that's really strongly related to the team that will go into a St. Piran playlist to avoid any confusion. All of the videos that are about me, my life, be like a vlog style thing. Not the sort of thing I ever thought I'd be making, but here I am, dogs and everything. Like this one, in a way, we'll go into a vlog playlist. That's quite self-explanatory, really. And then finally, something which I'm working on will be a rides playlist. And the idea with those is that it'll inspire someone to ride a bike. So if you watch them, hopefully the scenery and the footage will be really good enough that it'll make you want to go and grab your bike out of the shed, out of the garage, wherever you keep your bike, the living room, and actually go and ride. And if just one person feels inspired enough to go and ride their bikes after washing those, I'll be more than happy. We watch a lot of YouTube mountain bike videos at home and every single time we watch those, I kind of think to myself, oh, I quite fancy getting my mountain bike out of the shed, which I did the other day and I broke all the spokes in the front wheel. 
I say all of them, four of them pulled out of the rim and a couple of them snapped just from trying to do an endo. So that wheel needs rebuilding at some point. It's another little project. So maybe stuff like that will, could be included into a vlog style video. So please bear with me. I am by no means an expert at editing videos. In fact, I've got a whole newfound appreciation for anyone that makes the amazing content they do on YouTube. Hopefully, as time goes on, I'll learn how to do it better and the edits will become much more watchable. If there's anyone that you know that might be interested in watching this, please share the video with them. Let them know that I'm making videos. Maybe it's something that they'll enjoy watching as well. And if you want to drop any ideas of things that you might like to see down in the comments below, that'd be really cool because I've got no idea the sort of things that you might be interested in or curious in. Thank you for watching. Do give this video a like and make sure you subscribe as well. And hopefully I'll see you again soon.